Hi everybody, Brian here. I just wanted to show you, I'm trying out some uh, little plugins here just to give you an idea on the direction I'm going outside of the charts. Um, in WordPress, uh, there are some plugins that you can play around with. There's a company called Relevad Plugins, uh, and they got three plugins that you could use for for uh, stock trading purposes. So we have this thing called Custom Stock uh, Ticker, Custom Stock Widget, and Stock Engine. So I've shown you how to install these. Just come under Plugin uh, and Add New, and look for each individual of these um, plugins, and you should be able to find them. Okay, so from there, um, the cool thing is when you get them installed in your plugins, what you'll find is you'll have all the different um, plugins. So, for instance, this one called Stock Engine, you can deactivate it, activate it, and get them running. Uh, once you do that, and you just come under this Relevad, um, where is it? Relevad uh, plugins, these ones right here, so kind of welcome. And you'll see all the available um, available plugins that they have. And these are the ones that we've got active. So if I look at the different ones, we have here this one called Stock Widgets. We can just define it, uh, we can uh, edit it and just make some basic changes to the template. Uh, we can add in individual stocks here. This is where the magic will have to happen um, to dynamically load them from a database, be it uh, a NoSQL database, and then figure out how to, how to um, hack that part and feed those in. What I'm thinking of actually doing is using a watch list and just only uh, adding the ones that I'm watching, which could be quite a, a quite a lot. But um, we have here um, all the different elements, and we can link them up to, let's say, Google Finance. We just save it. Here's the preview of what they'll look like. So if I go into one of my browsers here, like uh, Safari, uh, we're doing this one right here. So this is what it will look like, I believe. Yeah. And uh, you just click on one of these guys. It'll take you to the Google Finance site for that particular stock. And that's cool. What I'm also thinking of doing is adding a few extra little buttons here for um, to add in, um, you know, position management stuff here, that kind of functionality to maybe override where you can buy, sell, and then send signals back to the database and then have the database uh, issue out the buy or sell signal to interactive brokers to initiate those orders. Uh, also, obviously, you have a little button for charting. I'm looking at that kind of functionality. So that's the first, uh, the first uh, plugin. The next one I'll show you is the ticker. So here's the ticker, same idea. Um, we have the templates, blah, 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 the font, whatever. Uh, and uh, there's a preview. We can add in our stocks here, same idea, just load them in from the database. And uh, pretty simple stuff for both of these, for visuals to make it look like I'm a real legit <laughs> trading system. But it's pretty good because, um, you know, serving this up obviously through an internet, WordPress, or even put it up on my blog, I can definitely do that. Okay, uh, the very last uh, plugin here is a stock engines, which this is what the preview is supposed to look like. I have no idea why the preview is not working as it should. Um, but this is the short code that you typically use. Now again, the design, all that stuff is pretty well the same. But the nice thing with this is that you can add in all these additional um, items as well for each of them. Change present, stock, symbol, all that. And obviously I can put my own in from the database uh, once I can figure out how to apply those. 
and uh, you can see the uh, power of it uh, once we get it working. So again, this is the preview. So let me see. Oh, let me just do this just to make sure. Yeah. All right. So let's hope that we can get this working. Now I'm just going to do something like this. And what's our preview? Okay, that's fine. And I believe I'm going to show you an example of using the short code. Just copy that. Now we have a test page here uh, posting. So we are dealing with stock engines. So there's where the problem lies. Okay, so let me just update that. Now, I'm in Firefox right now. There seems to be some bugs. Uh, works in some browsers and other browsers. Uh, again, because if I use this for internal, uh, I don't really care, to be honest. You can see the stock widget doesn't properly work. I might have to put that in a widget somewhere. Uh, I can test that in a minute. Um, but uh, let me just refresh this browser here. This is Safari. Um, I guess the cache hasn't been updated, but uh, it does look like that, that is working within um, this Chrome. No, so I have to clear the cache out or whatever. But you get the idea of how this works. Now, again, I mentioned let's try. Actually, the stock widget seems to be okay. This seems to be okay, um, but uh, this seems to work okay. Firefox and the latest changes, but the widget doesn't. So there's some bugs there. Uh, I'm not going to fret over it. Now the question really comes down to um, source code. So in order for me to see uh, the source code, um, let's see if I got editor under appearance. This is the simple theme that I'm using, so you can edit all those. I can't remember. I think I have to as, uh, change the code in the back end. But uh, you know what? Let's just do one thing here. We are going to create a, okay, so I am going to show you how to add to a widget, a sidebar. So I drag in this one called text. Okay, come on. So we'll put this in sidebar, let's say. So we're just going to call it text. We'll call it, I don't know, stock widget. Need the short code for that widget. Uh, this one right here. So, oh, I see what the problem is. Okay, so if I go into widget, no, we want stock widget. Uh, let me see here. I think we've got a problem. If I want to stock widget, pull up the list of the available widgets. I'm going to edit uh, this one. Okay, so this is what I want to list as a symbol. Here's all the parameters that I want to play around with. Um, need to make sure I put that in. Okay, so I'm going to make two changes here. I'm going to use this one, the shortcut. We got a widget that we're creating, and create that, save that, and where, oh, where is my posting? So let me just create, or look at my available postings. So we want to test this one out, and we are going to, it looks like I've, uh, make sure we're adding the right widget, so I think that's correct. Yeah. Uh, 
We'll see what happens. No big deal if it doesn't work. So we're going to save that widget on the side. So this widget or this test stock page posting is getting changed. So let's see if we can see all the latest changes. Okay, so there's our widget. There's our widget again. So everything's working and this is Fox Firefox. So everything, there is no bugs to report. So just wanted to give you an idea of the direction that this enables. Um, there's some cool stuff we can do. I'm not gonna get too asinine about the design and coloring and all that. Um, but it is cool looking and pretty snazzy. So I just wanted to put that video together and just show you some of the cool stuff that you can do with WordPress and hopefully we can hack these plugins. And again, these are free.